All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So most of you probably noticed that we recently got a pretty significant data download on both Global and JP. And of course, this data download was for most of the stuff we're gonna be getting for part two of the worldwide celebration, which is officially starting on September 14th at 10 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time or September 15th at 1 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Obviously, if you guys live in different time zones, then you gotta do that conversion for yourself. But either way, it's very, very soon. In fact, about 24 hours after this video drops, part two of the Worldwide Celebration should officially begin on both sides of the game, which is pretty freaking awesome. I mean, we've all been waiting for it. You guys know how I feel about part one of the celebration. It was absolutely awful. So hopefully, part two and redeem the celebration, at least by a little bit, you know? Anyways, we've got a lot of stuff to cover in this video, specifically the EZA details for the Tech LR Hercule, and also the EZAs for the Int Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the AGL Hercule and Boo, both these units, of course, awakened from the uh, Goku and Hercule from the new Boo Saga story event. And we also have the details for the Global vs JP campaign units. The loser is going to be getting this Tech Super Saiyan Angel Vegeta. And the winner is going to be getting this Int Super Saiyan Goku. And finally, we'll quickly touch on the EZA details for the Fizz uh, LR Kid Gohan. Obviously, we'll be able to get his EZA medals from the new Extreme Super Battle Road event okay so without further ado let's jump into it starting with the hercule actually real quick um two things that are missing from this data download that i'm sure a lot of people were really looking forward to um so number one we have the new vegeta that's gonna be coming for the new banner right the legendary summon banner and there was nothing about him in uh, the data download i mean i'm sure they're waiting for the Twitter reveal to come out first, which is probably going to be happening in a couple hours, to be honest. So expect that video soon. But right now, nothing about the new Vegeta. And uh, number two, the revamp for AGL LR Majin Vegeta's Super Attack animations. Nothing about that either in this data download. But like I said, I'm expecting us to get that soon. Okay, so we just got to be a little bit patient for now. And uh, let's jump into it. Okay, so starting with... LR Hercules EZA, it's really, really good. Okay, so his leader skill is gonna be all types key plus two, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. And for super attacks, the 12 key causes colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And the 18 key causes mega colossal damage and raises attack and defense by 50% for three turns. That's crazy. 50% is very significant. And for three turns, so if you super multiple times that turn. Actually, you know what, never mind, it's the 18 key, so it can't be stacked like that. But either way, 50% is, is a lot. It can be stacked at least for two turns because you can you know use it once and then you'll get that effect for two turns. But then if you come back and do it again, it would get that effect twice, right? So yeah, either way, really, really good effect for the 18 key super. And for his passive, he gets great chance of key plus seven and attack plus 77% and then key plus three and defense plus 77% for three turns from start of turn, and then high chance of evading enemy's attack, including super attack, for three turns after receiving an attack, and then attacked, uh, attacked enemies, attack minus 22% for three turns. Okay, so overall, very, very good Extreme Z Awakening, especially when you compare it to the old Hercule, where I think his passive was literally like, great chance of key plus seven and attack plus was it like seven thousand or ten thousand or something like that either way it was really bad right so huge huge upgrade for the hercule one other thing of course for all um lr EZAs is that his super attack goes up to 25 compared to 20 before which will make a big difference for his damage as well so uh there's the hercule EZA, man i have no complaints i think that they did a great job and uh there you go. Of course, we'll be able to get his medals through most likely an Extreme Z battle event, or not Extreme Z battle, sorry, Extreme Z area event. And at this point in time, I don't know what the required units are going to look like or what the pool of units we can use to take on the event looks like. But uh, I'll make sure to let you guys know once that information becomes available. Okay, so that is 
Tech Hercule. Now moving on to the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and also later on the Hercule and Boo. These guys are quite quite insane, especially for free to play units. Okay, so for Goku here, post Extreme Z Awakening, leader skill is Trump, final Trump card, category key plus three. HP attack and defense plus 77% or int types key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 50%. His super attack causes supreme damage and greatly lowers the enemy's defense. And his passive is attack and defense plus 120% raises attack and defense by up to 60%. The more HP remaining, the greater the stat boost. Attacks effective against all types for 3 turns from the start of turn and then deactivates transformation when conditions are met. Okay, so the way he works is that after three turns, and if your HP is 80% or less, you'll lose the Super Saiyan 3 Goku transformation, or just Super Saiyan 3 transformation, and become base Goku, which is this guy right here. And for the space Goku, he will cause supreme damage and raise super class allies attack by 25% for one turn, and his passive changes int key spheres to rainbow key spheres once only and then attack and defense plus 120 percent plus an additional attack plus 30 percent per rainbow key sphere obtained and then attacks effective against all types with a rainbow key sphere obtained medium chance of performing a critical hit when all allies are in the majin buu saga category so if you're running a full majin buu saga team then he'll also perform a, uh, have a medium chance of performing critical hits, but either way, as long as he gets one rainbow key sphere, that's what it looks like to me. Hold on, with a rainbow key sphere, yeah. So it looks like as long as you get one rainbow key sphere, he's getting attacks effective against all types. He's also getting a ton more attack for every rainbow key sphere obtained on top of 120% attack and defense already. Um, so it's insane, man. Like aside from the fact that the stats are not like too crazy, he is a free to play unit after all, even with the EZA, he's only getting up to 13,000 attack, but that passive is, is ridiculous. And on top of that, he has the new uh, partner super attack mechanic, right? So let me see if I can find it here. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay, yeah, so it's called unit super attack which is when you have a specific unit or a specific like you know type of unit on the rotation with him then he'll perform a different super attack right so for this guy the uh, super spirit bomb is activated when there is a majin buu saga category ally whose name includes hercule attacking in the same turn so you have a hercule from the majin buu saga in the same rotation then he'll perform this uh, partner super attack or unit super attack which causes immense damage and raises super class allies attack and defense by 25% for one turn. Okay, so there you go. There is the free to play Super Saiyan 3 Goku slash Ace, you know, Spirit Bomb Goku with the Extreme Z Awakening. It's a crazy unit, man. I mean, this guy is probably as good as like Tokon Fest exclusive units from like a year ago. I mean, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. But he's really damn good. Like I'm, I'm really blown away by like how insane they're making free to play units, man. So there's the the Goku and the Hercule and Boo are just as good, if not even better. In, I'm not really sure. Like I'm still process, processing this stuff, but I think this Hercule and Boo might be even better than the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. As hard as it is to believe. Okay, so for Hercule here, or Hercule and Boo. Uh, Majin Buu Saga, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or AGL types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, that's the leader skill. And for the passive, greatly raises defense, or sorry, that, this is the super attack, greatly raises defense and causes extreme damage and lowers attack. Okay, so obviously multiplier, not the best, but he's greatly raising defense on his super. And then for the passive, you have a medium chance of evading enemies attack including super attack reduces damage received by 40 percent when hp is 40 percent or more and then you're getting uh support for majin buu saga so it's majin buu saga category allies key plus two and attack and defense plus 20 percent and then exchanges with majin buu good when conditions are met right so you start off as hercule um, he's gonna be quite a good tank, especially considering of the greatly raising defense on the super and then medium chance to evade, reducing damage received by 40% when your HP is 40% or more, 
and uh, what else? And also that support uh, passive is nice as well. But then once you exchange into good boo here, which happens when you're entering the next attacking turn after receiving uh, damage five or more times in battle. Okay, so after you get hit five or more times, the next time this unit comes back, you're exchanging with good boo. And for good boo, his attack uh, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and lowers attack. And then his passive is attack and defense plus 100%, Majin Buu Saga category allies key plus 2, attack and defense plus 30%, and then guards all attacks when there is a Majin Buu Saga category ally whose name includes Hercule or Goku attacking in the same turn. Okay, so guarding against all, getting a bunch of defense, great support passive right there. Um, fantastic unit, man. Amazing unit, just like the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and the, both both these guys are free to play, man. That's what blows me away, honestly. Like they're they're both free to play units. That that that's wild. That really is. Anyways, um, let's move on. Let's move on. I, I I could I could just freak out about this all day, but um, I'm sure you guys don't want to be here for that. So just just enjoy the details for the rest of these units. Okay, so we got. The Tech Super Saiyan Angel Vegeta, which of course, like I said, is the loser card for the campaign. Where I mean, honestly, like I want this Vegeta more than the Goku, and I think most people feel that way. So I think both sides are probably going to be trying to like actively lose on purpose to get this Vegeta. But uh, yeah, his leader skill is Majin Buu Saga category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus thirty five percent. Um, super attack raises attack and defense by 35% for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 35%, key plus 2, and attack and defense plus 20% when attacking. And then key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 35% for 3 turns after receiving an attack. So there you go, nothing too crazy, but uh, honestly for a free to play unit, actually quite solid, right? And then for the Goku. Pretty much the same thing, actually. Yeah, Majin Buu Saga Kairo, Q plus 3, HP attack, HP attack and defense plus 35%. Um, raises attack and defense by 35% for one turn and causes supreme damage. And then uh, attack and defense plus 35%, Q plus 3, and attack and defense plus 90% when attacking. So not, not quite the same. Not quite the same. But if you actually, I think, add up their passives, it should be the same uh, overall. Uh, actually, you know what? No, it's not the same. So it looks like the Goku actually is better, right? Attack and defense plus 20% when attacking, and then 35% uh, after receiving an attack. And then Goku is just straight up, I think, additional. Yeah, key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 90% when attacking. Yeah, so it does look like the Goku's better, which is actually interesting because before, the passives for both units would always be the same. So I guess they made Goku better this time, so there's more of, an, more of an incentive to win, right? But if I'm being honest, it doesn't really matter, right? Because both these units are like fine, but they're not going to be used for the most part by most players unless you're really, really new. They could probably benefit from like using the Goku and Vegeta, you know, on your teams. But um, there's there's definitely better, you know, options out there for these guys. So that being said, I do still want the Vegeta more because I'm not going to be running either of them. And uh, just for the purpose of, you know, collection, right? Um, it's just more interesting to have a Angel Super Saiyan Vegeta compared to another Super Saiyan Goku, of which we have just too many in this game right now, right? So there's the, the winner card or the, the, the Global versus JP cards, the winner card, as well as the loser card. And finally, let's quickly talk about this uh, Fizz LR kit, Gohan Extreme Z Awakening. By the way, uh, JP is also getting the Extreme Z Awakening for the Int LR Yardrat Goku from like the second set of uh, Category Super Battle Road stages. But um, we're not getting that right now because obviously we're only getting the first 10 stages for Extreme Super Battle Road and uh, the medals for that Goku ZZA are from the second set. Of extreme super bad road stages so for now that's going to be a jp exclusive thing obviously we'll get it on global at some point in the future just not right now so once this kid gets an extreme c awakening his leader skill is all types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 100 
and 20%, which makes him, uh, I believe, the best rainbow leader in the game. I think there's someone else that also... Oh, I think the uh, the uh, STR LR Spirit Bomb Goku, like the 1000 Day Goku, also has this leader skill with his EZA, but this is basically the best like all types leader skill that's currently available in the game. And uh, for his super attacks, the 12 key is colossal damage and a medium chance to stun the enemy. And the 18 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And then his passive um, will become key plus two, attack and defense plus 77% at the start of the turn, key plus seven plus an additional attack plus 58% and disables enemy's guard when HP is 58% or less, reduces damage received by 58%. When there's an ally whose name includes Goku, uh, Youth, Captain Ginyu, Junior, etc. excluded attacking in the same turn. So that is a huge, huge damage reduction right there, man. 58% if you have a Goku on rotation basically means that he is not going to be taking much damage at all, like ever, as long as you have that Goku on rotation. Um, so that's wild, and of course his damage can be quite good. Uh, when you fall below 58%, but it's, it's still it's still decent even when you you know have more HP than that. And uh, yeah, there's there's not much else to say about this kid, man. He is significantly better than he was before. Uh, I would say before the EZA, he was like top three worst LRs in the game. Like of course, including all the free to play LRs. I, I still think Piccolo was worse, but this kid was like right up there and he was not very usable if I'm being honest but with the EZA with that leader skill too um, he's fantastic so I'm excited to get him done and uh, that that's it guys the video went a little bit longer than I thought it would but hopefully it was interesting to you guys hopefully it got uh, you know all the information across I'm really tired right now so I'm not really sure if like I was clear on a, on, on a lot of the stuff but uh there you go guys this is pretty much everything we got from the eza or sorry from the uh the data download on global and uh, once we get the details for the summonable lr angel vegeta as well as the uh, animation for the agl lr majin vegeta's revamp then i'll make sure to make a separate video to show you guys that but this is today's video. By the way, a big shout out to Hydros as well as the entire Trident slash Uni Dokkan team for making this video, you know, this like format possible because obviously I'm not using my main account. These guys aren't available um, on the, in the game yet. This is, you know, the special like private server version of Dokkan that allows me to see this stuff. And uh, that's it, guys. That's all I got to say. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are excited for part two. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.